Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is gonna be just a kinda, just a little vlog, just a little vlog day in the life situation. As you can see, I got my hair done. I am actually, I don't know why I'm in here with no lights on. I don't know, I don't like putting on lights unless I absolutely have to. Now it's too washed out. So it is, what time is it? It's like nine o'clock. I have kind of sort of a busy day today. So we're just gonna kind of roll with it. I did get my hair done. As you can see, I found a new hairstylist. I don't know if you guys have watched any of my Vlogmas videos, but I did do Vlogmas. I was doing good for like the first half of the month and then a couple weeks before, like a week before Christmas, I just fell off completely, but we'll try again next year. Anyways, I did have a Vlogmas video where I had went to a hair girl that I did not like at all. I mean, the hair looked great, but I really had a bad experience and I'm so happy because I found a new hairstylist. It just feels so good to like have my hair done, have a good experience getting it done. And I also feel like, you know, I usually, I don't know about you girls who get installs. I'm still pretty new to installs. This is actually my third one. My hair used to really itch like right in the crown. And this is my trouble spot, like really sensitive here. I always get crown breakage. And I feel like the way she braided my hair, I have not had any itchiness in this area. And it's been, I'm thinking, I think I'm on day three that the hair is done. So no itchiness. To be honest with you, it's usually the most itchy the first few days. And I haven't been itching at all. So I'm really happy with that. I, you know, don't want to be everywhere patting my weave. It's a, maybe a little bit itchy now, like toward the back and on the sides, but I love it. The curls did drop. There was curls in it, but I'm going to go ahead and put curls back in tomorrow because I have to get headshots done. So I'm really just trying to preserve this hair until then. The blend is just amazing. I, I just, I'm so in love. I'm so in love. Anyways, this uh, video is not about my hair. So yes, so today I'm going to the High Line. There's a matcha event, and I don't know if you guys don't already know this about me. I love matcha. I'm not a coffee girl. I love me some matcha. I'm just home right now. You know me. I made some matcha. I need to get a new matcha cup. This is like my matcha glass. This was from my best friend's wedding. I was a bridesmaid, so I have a bridesmaid <laughs> cup, and I've been using it for my matcha. We're gonna go to that event, learn about how matcha is made, and you know, it's like a experience, it's like a pop-up shop, so I'm gonna go there. I'm also gonna go by myself. I feel like that's something I wanted to do a lot this year. I really want to nurture my current relationships and meet new people and just kind of like put myself out there a little bit more. That's something that I haven't done in years and I almost feel like I'm turning into a different type of person because it's been so long that I have just kind of like went outside and like seen what happens and I don't like walk up to strangers and say hello and I just don't put myself out there and I used to not be like that but I feel like life just kind of started taking a toll on me for the last few years and it's always been me trying to work hard to get to a certain place or work hard to get out of a certain place and now I am in a space thankfully where that is a next step for me that is something I want to prioritize more you know we're always going to be looking forward to leveling up in some kind of way but I do think at this point in my life, I'm learning that having community is a very important part of growth. So I want to start nurturing what I already have and building upon that. So we're going to go to this event. I'm going to probably just hang out in Soho for a little while, check out what's going on over there. And then I do have an audition that I have a call back on, actually. So I'm going to go do that as well. So I'm just going to be spending the day in the city. This will just be a day in my life and yeah before i left out the house i was just enjoying the rest of my youtube video had my candle lit look at these flowers i kept them for like a month they look really good still but i'm going to throw them out today and yeah
Okay, so I am on the High Line. I just got out of the matcha event. This was actually really fun. I learned some new things about matcha. Now I can be even more bougie with my matcha. Let's try it. Mm. It's good, it's like very strong. It is a little bit, a little bit bitter, but like not really like low quality bitter. I can tell the difference. For something like this that I was making at home, I would use either like oat milk or almond milk or something like that. But uh, yeah, I like it. So definitely my boost of energy. This is my second matcha for the day. So <laughs> now I'm just gonna walk the High Line for a little bit, have some time alone, and we're gonna go to Soho. <laughs> the rest of them that are sold separately and I just want the one that says sleep and of course it's sold out I'm trying to think if I should get the calm but I feel like that's not the same as sleep or else it would have been you know what I mean like there wouldn't be a separate compartment if this was the same so boo Get away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I am home. Is this focusing on me? Hopefully. I have about an hour before I have to leave right back out, but let me just show you guys quickly what I did get. So the first thing I got was a little gift from my friend. Today is her birthday. And as a matter of fact, like where I'm going is gonna be out for her birthday dinner. I got her a couple of things. I got her this little match 
stick, like the thing where you strike the matches because she likes to light candles in her home. And it says, it says here's tonight's we'll never remember with friends we'll never forget. Cheers, XOXO. So I got her this. I think that was cute. Bath cube for recovery. So I don't know. It's therapeutic. It's handmade. I can smell it through the box. It smells nice. So I just got her these things. Just something little, you know, for her B day. I did, of course, go to Harney and Sons. I was so upset they didn't have the sleep tea that I really wanted. It's like a loose leaf tea, but they did have one that I already know and love. I'm telling you, like, if you struggle with sleep, and lately I have been, but if you struggle with sleep as a general thing or just from time to time, this is really good. I highly recommend it. If you don't have a Harney and Sons, I know in New York, this is like where it started. So I went to the original store and there's like a tea bar there and it's really nice. But I did get the hemp moringa. I hope this is focusing. I hope we're not super washed out. But yes, I got the hemp moringa. This is a CBD. Well, no, I'm sorry. This is not CBD. The other one I wanted was a CBD sleep tea. This one has hemp in it. So this has hemp, moringa, holy basil, and herbs. This is for deep sleep, you guys. This is so good. It's a loose tea, so you do need a strainer compartment, and I have that in my tea kettle, so I love the color of it. Honestly, maybe it's best that I got this one instead because it's bigger. This has lasted me a long time, and I know I love it, so maybe it was just fine that I got this. Anyway, I also picked up from Harney & Sons a... A candle. Now, this is from the brand Veluspa. I don't know if this is based off of or a part of Harney and Sons. The packaging looks like the brand looks very similar to Harney and Sons. This is the uh, Apple Blue Clover. And they have it in huge candles, but I just got the small one today. Oh my gosh, this is so different. So good. It's a coconut wax candle. And I thought it was really cute, so I got this. I'm just gonna have it for my house. And I did go to American Eagle. I had to just get some regular jeans. Like, I really just needed some jeans. All my jeans have rips in them, or they're like wide leg, and they were like trendy, and I don't really need trendy jeans right now. I just need a classic pair of jeans. So I always get the curvy high-rise jegging from American Eagle. Of course, they had the buy one, get one half off. So I went and got me some jeans. I got the dark wash. And then I also got the black jeans. Camera just died, my bad. So yeah, I got these two pairs of jeans. And I don't know, you can't go wrong with American Eagle. They're form-fitting. They hug my curves. They're a little high-waisted because uh, I got the high-rise. They do have like extra long high-rise and I do like them, but they are a little too high for me. So, I mean, sometimes I get them though. It just depends. It just depends. But today I got the Kirby High-Rise Classic Jeggings and I'm really happy with them. They are Dream Stretch. I am a 10 in size and uh, I really, really needed them. And that's all I got, you guys. Honestly, I didn't do too much damage, but it's crazy. Like, I feel like New York, you can just go run two or three errands and it takes all day. Like, it's literally almost dark outside. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just chill here, have some downtime. Okay, I so am. It is a little bit of time before I have to get ready and go to dinner, but I am still hungry right now. So I'm just going to snack on some seaweed chips. I got my scarf on to flatten my hair as well. I didn't say that earlier because I wanted to be nice and straight and it was like drizzling a little bit out here so I don't want my hair to get frizzy. And I'm just gonna chill here, have some of these seaweed chips and then we're going to dinner. Of course it is an hour, a little more than an hour later and I'm running late. I am ready, I got dressed and I'm going to the city, but, well, I forgot my phone when I was like halfway to the train station. So I had to walk back home, 
grab my phone, come back out, but it's all good. At least it wasn't my house keys or anything that was going to really mess up my night. So I am now <laughs> en route to the dinner. I should probably be about 20 minutes late, but it is what it is, you know? We're gonna live with it and we're gonna keep it moving. So I will tap back in when I get there.